It has been really interesting and it's been a wildly exciting experience since we've got to interact with multiple mm. stakeholders. Uh, personally, I feel the conference for young people has been an ideal opportunity since it's bridged the gaps between these stakeholders and we are the generation that now has the skills and the education to seal the gaps that the previous generation has offered us. And uh, It's a real privilege uh, to be here at the GTS Innovation Dialogue 2024. I think this has been a fantastic start. Um, huge kudos and congratulations to Carnegie India for being able to pull such uh, a tremendous event uh, together. And I think there is so much room and potential for the GTS Innovation Dialogue to develop further, to bring these conversations on AI safety, as well as on uh, DPI forward in India and around the world. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited about everything that we're going to learn about. Yeah, I'm excited about learning more about DPIs, um, learning more about use cases. I'm excited about learning about safeguards. Um, and I'm also excited about meeting other people who are doing really good work um, all across the globe. I think it's such an honor and a privilege to be here. And yeah, I'm excited. Uh, every workshop is a little different. Um, and uh, depending on the specific outcomes, um, I think you know that makes sense, uh, how, how you wanted the workshop to run. Um, I thought it was uh, fairly effective. Um, uh, the topics are huge. Uh, we weren't going to come to any necessary uh, solutions or, or answers, um, but I think it was fairly effective in, in surfacing a lot of the really important questions. And in my, in my line of business, in my experience, um, racing to answers can be a, a problem if you're not asking the right questions. And so I think this workshop has been very good at surfacing those, those questions. I quite enjoyed uh, the tone and depth of conversations simply because a lot of the themes uh, assume an overbroad uh, you know, um, character, character, while this has been super well curated and the rooms were distributed in such a way that people's expertise really shone through. So that way, I think it was a very well curated set of workshops. So today, we had an amazing three sessions on digital public infrastructure, a lot of learning, a lot of affirmation on how digital public goods can actually be adopted and implemented as a digital public infrastructure. So what I learned today was how you can have core building blocks like payments and digital ID. And then you have sectoral, specific to education and health that could be reduced. And then you have specific uh, in, in each area of government, which, which I'm part of. So I'm very, very optimistic because after this, I have to translate this into my country's digital um, public infrastructure DPI strategy and have a roadmap for the next five years. So I'm very excited to be here today. I've had a wonderful time uh, here in New Delhi at GTS. Um, it's fantastic, uh, particularly after not being able to travel uh, due to COVID for a couple of years, to be able to meet people in person to talk about really critical issues around technology. It's, it's been great that uh, we're getting to listen to a lot of different viewpoints from uh, different countries, and also from people who have had first-hand experience in uh, doing uh, in setting up AI safety institutes globally. So it's been a very, very uh, interesting set of discussions. So, and I have been thinking about this for a while, right? So it's not like uh, my position changed significantly, but it, uh, you know, there are uh, other viewpoints that I can appreciate and, and you know, accommodations that we have to make in uh, uh, thinking more globally about uh, AI safety. So in that sense, it has been a great meeting for me so far. I have to say, I've not missed a single global tech summit. I've been at every single one of them, and this one is as good, if not perhaps better, uh, than the ones before, because this is coming after the pandemic. I think that this type of events are so, so, so important, because give give us the tools that we need, the knowledge that we need to leverage uh, digital tools, digital advance, and compare the situation, uh, the reality in our country with other countries that are uh, taking advantage, that are that, that have successful use case, and this is this is really important. Uh, first of all, I think it was a great uh, day to have here and engage with the different stakeholders and learn more from uh, India experience in implementation of digital transformation in the general and also on the DPI. And one thing I think learned uh, or uh, understood well was the role of DPI in the digital transformation. It's more on the government intervention in this. Uh it's been a brilliant series of panels, meetings, individuals, conversations, uh, conversations particularly at the eve of India's G20 presidency. Uh, when we really do some hard thinking around what are the collective spaces around which um, new frameworks for digital cooperation must emerge. Indeed, if India has to um, uh, you know, offer its digital public goods to the world, um, work together with low middle income countries, and really create this new narrative around what a shared global digital commons governance structure, architecture, and cooperation look like. So it's been really, really thrilling to be part of these discussions, to lean in from the United Nations, um, and uh, take back some of these um, amazing suggestions and also the dialogues that we have with the government of India.
I've had a great experience at the Global Technology Summit. I think it's a really uh, interesting opportunity to engage with uh, stakeholders across the industry, um, with non-government organizations and with governments as well. Um, and I think it's a really critical uh, and timely summit, frankly, to be able to engage on issues of geopolitics and how these impact technology companies in the 21st century.